Hey, good morning, amigos. How you doing? Hope you're all doing well. It's good to see you. Uh, hope you're all having a cheeky Friday, ready for today. Uh, for our $10 meal, we're going to be doing ourselves a delicious chicken burrito. Uh, we're going to fill it with um, chicken, obviously. So we're going to marinate the chicken, uh, roast it off for the recipe, but I'm going to sous vide it for today. Or sous vide it, shall I say. Um, <clears throat> We're also going to do a nice little mix of beans in there. We're going to do some rice. Um, also a little touch of avocado and some tomatoes as well to go with it. I'm going to make our homemade wraps. So using plain flour, but I've actually got some blue corn flour, which I want to try out. So I might play it, kind of play around with it a bit today, but the recipe will be adjusted uh, for the website. So uh, you can make the normal wraps at home. So no problem at all. So chicken breast, I'm only using one. I'm back backpacking two, reason for it. I'm kind of planning and prepared, preparing ahead for the weekend, so I'll have a chicken breast marinated and vac packed, ready to go, but I won't be using it on the stream, so it is one chicken breast for for the recipe, so I know it's a little confusing. I'm doing a lot of different things at once, so uh, I'm just planning ahead for my weekend. Okay, now, just being super careful with this, without dripping and drapping everywhere, which I probably will, but just being super careful. <clears throat> I'm just going to drop this into the bag. There we go. Always super careful what you touch when you're touching chicken. It's one of my pet hates. Um, not my pet hates, but like, if you're touching chicken, go wash your hands uh, before you like open the fridge or go pick up a knife, or because you're gonna end up spreading bacteria. It's just not gonna be fun games. So you could end up causing cross contamination. You could make yourself ill. So it's all super important. If you have you've been touching the chicken, go wash your hands straight away. Don't touch anything else. Right. So let's pop a little bit of garlic in there one clove in each. Uh, so we're gonna get the uh, paprika next. So I've got a little touch of paprika in here. So I'm gonna go for one teaspoon each. So if you're gonna be marinating this chicken breast, it'll be one teaspoon, so there we go. There we go, perfect. A little touch of oil. If you haven't got extra virgin olive oil as well with the recipe, veggie oil will be fine. Uh, or canola. I'm just going to use a little bit of extra virgin because I've got it here. Right, so about a teaspoon of oil. There we go. So that's going to be lovely marinade going on in there. So I'm just going to give that a little kind of a, a little mix because of the uh, paprika. And as it's cooking down, it'll kind of disperse anyway as it's going through the chicken. So you should be fine. So that oil will help kind of disperse that a little bit better. So there we go. Perfect. So we're going to Vax, vac and seal these little bad boys. Now, when you got liquid in here, right? Super important always to remember that it, once the liquid kind of goes up, just hit the seal button. If it goes past the seal, it's going to spew out. You're going to make a mess. You're going to have to clean up. So just always make sure this is nice and flat and keep an eye on the liquid if you're vacuuming liquids or purees or anything like that. Let's uh, let's crack on with this uh, bean mix. So yeah, sorry, I was saying um, if you can't get hold of any hatch green chili, you can get the frozen hatch green chili. Um, and it's usually called Bueno or Bueno, um, so you can usually buy that. So it's a lot cheaper. But um, yeah, if you got the fresh stuff that I've, we've got roasted down, and it's frozen down. Fantastic, it's so good. Right, so slice this down. Watch your fingers. So we're cutting it uh, horizontally, then vertically. So I didn't cut it all the way through the root. So super, super important. I always make mess just because I go too fast. Um, so the more lines you get out of it, the more finer dice you're going to get out of this. So I'm just going to dice this up very nicely. Now when you get to like the end piece, what you want to do is just pretty much leave it. Not leave it, but don't carry on chopping. So you want to cut this in half, maybe cut again if it's pretty thick. Just kind of cut it into slices and then just finish it off. Um, right, let's get up my microplane. So we've got three garlic cloves here. So I'm just going to grate these down through my microplane. If you want to use a garlic crusher, you could have crushed them down instead of taking the skins off like I did. Um, whatever's easiest. I prefer using my microplane. Super, super fine puree. Picking these down nicely. Perfect. But yeah, medium sized pan will be fine. So I'm going to pop this onto a medium heat. So let me just show you what we're up to. So just a little touch of canola oil or veggie oil, whatever you've got. Just a cheeky tablespoon in there. Nothing too crazy. Just give that a little little swirl around. So once that's heated up, 
nicely. We're gonna add the onions and start sauteing them down or softening them up very gently. I will probably put pinto beans on here, but I'm gonna use the dark red kidney beans. I know it's not very traditional. But uh, yeah, I would say usually pinto, but this is all I got, so this is what we're gonna use. I'm just gonna drain this off and I'm gonna add these uh, kidney beans. But yeah, I'll put pinto beans or um, black beans on the recipe, so. And they're exactly the same price, so I'm not concerned about that. My so-called pinto beans are going in now. Chef, those look a little touch red. Yeah, shh, it's okay. <laughs> right, so there's our hatch green chili, so that's just going in. That'll defrost very, very quickly and melt down into the mix. We're gonna add a little touch of water because I don't want this kind of burning or singeing on the bottom, so if we turn it down to a low heat, we're just gonna add a little touch little touch of water also i want a little bit of paprika in there about two teaspoons before i forget so one two teaspoons of paprika fantastic so that's going to cook down very steadily very very nicely so that's good to go so we don't need to worry about that for now just leave it keep an eye on it give it a stir now and again so um i feel like a hundred gram and fifty gram will be good yeah, I think that's that's sufficient enough. Right, 100 grams. Beautiful. Don't want to go too crazy on the salt. It's five grams. Ten grams. And ten grams is the same as ten mil before you say, Chef, you said mil. Yeah, it's the same thing. There's our beautiful mix. Uh, we're going to start adding a little touch of water. Um, how much water? Just enough until it binds together. That's all like, All you need to know. But don't go too crazy, otherwise you'll end up with like a really wet mix. So. I feel like I'm going to need to do double this mix, guys, because this is not going to make me much. So maybe I should do... Uh, I'll do double the mix. I'll do another batch now in a second. <coughs> Actually, before I finish it, let me get my weighing scale so I can just add it to this right now. So, because I want to make a few more. This is only going to make me like one or two, so I want at least four tortillas. I bought it the other day and I haven't used it, and I've been like waiting to use it. And uh, I thought today would be a great opportunity, even though it's not going to be in the recipe, but um, I just wanted to try it. Same thing with the chicken, right? The sous vide. Just add a little touch. I added too, a little too much water, so just a little touch of flour just to bring it back. <laughs> and what we're going to do, we're going to cook this down in the pan. Um, you can use a little touch of oil if you want. I'm actually going to uh, not use any oil. I'm just going to cook them straight off. And then what we're going to do, is super important when it comes to cooking these tortillas, uh, to make sure <coughs> excuse me, uh, you put them in between foil. And what it will do, it will hold the moisture in there. It will stop them from drying out. So um, when they're kind of cooling down, you stack them on top of each other in between foil. So it'll hold that moisture in. It'll stop it from cracking and breaking. <laughs> so that's nice and perfect. Good to go. So there's our beautiful tortilla. So no oil. Straight in. So these are cooking out really nice. Just want to have a little touch of color on them. Watch your fingers as well. Right, so there we go. Fantastic. Could do with a little touch more color, but what I'm going to do is swap this over. And super important, I'm going to put that between foil. If you don't, it's going to dry up and it's going to crack and you can't roll it. So what we're going to do, put that between foil. I'm going to stack them up each one we cook out. And then it's going to hold the moisture in instead of the moisture escaping. So the sous vide, so, which is right here. Uh, we're going to get that up to temperature. To be honest with you, I can start getting it up to temperature now. And then we can drop our chicken because the chicken's going to take about an hour, I think. So let's get this on now. So it's going to at 65 Celsius. Now, I'd say mine's an inch and a quarter, so it's going to take me an hour. So it's going to be 45 minutes. So I'll just turn that on now. Just bring it up to, to temperature. So that's heating up. Those tortillas are resting up now. They're still nice and hot. Uh, they're sweating in between the, the foil, so the moisture will come out. It'll go back into the tortilla. And hopefully, the tortillas will be nice, nice and flexible. So, 
We keep them locked up with the moisture. So this is just brown long grain rice. There's 100 grams. Yeah, 200 grams is, should be good. So I'm going to do a 3 to 1 ratio on this. So because we used 200 grams, I want to use 600 ml of water. And what we're going to do, I'm going to add a little good pinch of salt in there as well. Nothing too crazy, maybe two pinches. That'll do, 600. So what we're going to do, two pinches of salt. We're going to put the lid on. I'm going to bring it up to a boil or as soon as it starts simmering. I'm going to turn the temperature right down. I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to take it off and let it sit for 15 minutes to steam with the lid on. Hence why we wanted the lid. So super important. Rice is done. Hatch green chili is done. Uh, chicken's down. Um, so all we need to do is just grate up a little cheeky bit of mozzarella to finish this off. Um, and obviously the avocado, we're going to crush that. Excuse me. Goodness me. Uh, and we also need a little bit of avocado we're going to crush down in the bowl. So let's get the avocado done next. So this was a little bit firm at the start of the week. I'm hoping it's kind of softened up a little bit. It feels like it has slightly. So yeah, it kind of has a little bit. It's a little bit more firmer than per usual. <coughs> so we can always just give this a nice little kind of crush down while it's in the bowl in a bit. Just a little touch of... Uh, Lime juice in there, a bit of salt, maybe a quarter actually, because these are quite large limes. That'll do, that's plenty. So I'm going to pop these back in the fridge. All right, so let's give this a nice little grate. So we don't need a huge deal of this cheese. Probably need like one quarter of it. <clears throat> so this is like a firmer cheese now for mozzarella. Mozzarella is usually a lot more softer. Um, but this is a part skimmed one, so less sugar in there, um, a little less fat as well. So I'm just going to open this up. <laughs> Beautiful. If you want to pour the juice as well, you can probably pour the juice straight into my, um, what's it called? My bean and chili mix, so just add a bit more flavor, it's just paprika and all the chicken juice in there. You can see that beautiful, juicy bit of chicken. So tender, succulent. Mm. Perfect. So, so good. As you do. So just a little touch of uh, avocado on here. I'm not going to go crazy with it. Just a little, just to kind of spread around. Well, just very little wort, but it's nice and nice and soft and tender. It almost looks like white rice, right? It's actually brown rice. So, just a little bit in here. Green chili bean mix in there as well. Just a little touch, you know. I'm going bonkers with it. And just a little touch of cheese in there as well. Do you salt your rice? Yeah, we popped a little about two pinches of salt in there. So you can season it beforehand. Or you can do it after. Beforehand will be probably a little easier. Got the chicken in there as well. That moist, beautiful sous vide chicken. Um, if you want to roast the chicken, you haven't got sous vide. That's fine. Recipe, I'll uh, I'll put two, two ways of doing it tonight. So when I describe the chicken, I'll talk about roasting it. And I'll also talk about uh, the way I've done it today. So, and we should be able to wrap this little bad boy right up to an absolute little treat. And there you go. There's your little cheeky, delicious burrito. And uh, Chef, you're going to put it on the plate? Yeah, I'm going to plate up now. So, very, very kind. Alrighty. I feel like we need to cut this in half to have a nice little cross section. So. Are you ready for this chat? So I hope you're ready. That beautiful little cheeky burrito cross section right there. Our delicious burrito. Um, so $10 meals, 
Um, obviously, a few things change when it comes to the recipe, like the um, the tortilla wraps. I, I decided to use a little bit of blue corn to test it out today. Uh, looks fantastic. Can't wait to taste it. But I'll be putting plain flour on the recipe, and obviously, when it comes to the chicken, if you haven't got sous vide, you can roast it. So the options are there. Um, so first off, we did the um, oh the chicken. So we marinated it, marinated it in a little touch of oil. A teaspoon of paprika and one garlic clove and backed it. If you're going to do it in the roasting, I would say a little bit of oil, grate some garlic down, mix it up and let it marinate for an hour or two. Um, if you're going to cook the sous vide, about an hour on 65 Celsius. So, um, and you can sear it off if you want afterwards. I, I didn't, just diced it up into a nice little dice. So if you're going to do it in the oven, 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit, um, you can pan sear it, then in the oven, I would say about 25 to 30 minutes until tender. Um, if, it's a, if you cut it open, it's a little pink, just put it back in for another 5-10 minutes, but uh, 20, 25 to 30 should be about right. Um, so we did the uh, hatch, green hatch, hatch green chili uh, beans. Obviously I didn't, have the kid, I didn't have the pinto beans, but I had to use kidney beans in the end, so, but that will be adjusted on the recipe. Um, and we also had onions, garlic, thyme in there. We also popped a little bit of paprika and a little touch of cumin um, and cooked that out very nicely, adding a little touch of water so it didn't burn. Uh, the rice, brown rice, a little pinch of salt in there, plain brown rice, nothing too fancy, uh, 200 grams in there. Uh, we topped it up with 600 ml of water. Uh, we brought it up to the boil with the lid on. Once it came up to the boil, turn it down, cook it for 20 minutes, and then 15, take it off the heat 15 minutes with the lid on, don't touch it, let it steam. Um, what else do we have in there? The uh, crushed avocado with a little lime and a little bit of salt. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and a little touch of mozzarella, part skin mozzarella cheese as well, um, which we grated down, so a very small handful in there. Not very much at all, so. But goodness me, and that's it. Thank you so much for all the love today. Um, I'll be back Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Um, and I'll see you on Monday. Tuesday, sorry, <laughs> at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And also keep an eye out for that YouTube on Monday. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys. And uh, thank you again for all the love and support today. And uh, bye for now, amigos.